In this episode, we take it apart and we build the beam in the aft of Bardabar. We paint it in a beautiful color, Bermuda blue. Hi, my name is Anna and this is my husband Life Eric. He came up with this idea to build a simple catamaran, put it in a container and send it from ice cold Norway to Tahiti in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This way we could start sailing in paradise. I said, what a crazy idea. Let's do it. This is the adventure of building and sailing Bada Bada. And the story starts when finally coming back after three years of the pandemic. Back in 2018, when we built Barbara at home in Norway and when leaving her in French Polynesia a year later, all the wood was in a very good condition. The pandemic prevented us from coming back for three years and without any maintenance, the wood was in a rather bad condition. Part of the aft beam and the fitting was almost completely rotten. So you made this thing here in wood from Hawaii in import? Yes. And the other one was completely rotten. It's, I suppose there's nothing uh, to be seen. It's just all broken. Finally have this piece of wood here that we can use uh, to uh, replace the beam. It's been rotten all the time. It's impressive that we managed to, 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 to keep it all this time. I'm gonna give it a try. It's not actually bye-bye because we're not we're not just gonna leave it. Uh, we have a rope to it. So um, this is two thick, really thick planks that we have used for support. You know, maybe later we can get something better. Now we're gonna put this ladder back. So maybe you have to instruct me now to see. It should be like straight down or yep. straight up or whatever. Yeah. Are you bring the actor bula for it? Yeah. I should be smart. Yeah. That's why we can't pick up the strong. Aha. That's why we can't bring the actor bula. That's why we can't hold it. Yeah. Over and out. The beam in the aft is something strange happening. It's like a banana. When we finally came back in 2022, we replaced the aft beam and attached it to the deck with a temporary and simple solution. This solution had by now played out its role and it was time for an improvement. The plan was, instead of mounting two beams next to each other, to make a much more stable T solution. But first, we had to buy some more wood. We needed to go 
go to town to our one and only favorite shop, Huayin Import, to buy more wood for the off beam. We decided that we needed a coffee and hopefully a croissant at the Lapita Hotel. Walking down in the heat, a lady in a white shirt and checkered pants came bicycling down the alley. She carried big boxes in the back of her bicycle and I quickly turned towards her and asked with a bit of craving in my voice, are you bringing croissants for La Pita? She got off the bicycle, laughed and confirmed. We had a little chat, one of my favorite tasks. Before finding a table with a view towards the sea, we ordered coffee, we ordered croissants and we just enjoyed them.
So I have been painting today. I've been painting the aft beam and I've been using the lovely color Bermuda blue and it looks fabulous. It's gonna be alright yeah. Spring finally arrived The sun was shining from a blue sky The temperature was rising The ice was melting And we felt our limbs and even our souls were slowly getting warmer No wonder we were all smiling Next to us, uh, the small traditional boats was also getting uh, their winter habits off and new layers of linen, seed oil and tar on. The smell of summer to come. The museum area of Big Day contains not only the big ship Fram, which Amundsen used on his South Pole expedition, but also the famous ship Jöa from uh, his uh, Northwest Passage Expedition. And next to these two museums, the Norwegian Maritime Museum and the Contique Museum. And further up the street, the Viking Ship Museum. <laughs> Our little tribe have all sailed different types of traditional boats for ages. Since we were going to ship our Tiki 38 in a container, we had to make some modifications. We had to build her flush decked to fit the 40 feet high tube container. We now started working on the stem post. To make the stem fit the container, we made the stem post separate. This way we could assemble it with the bolts to the holes later. We also mounted the fitting that was to hold the aft beam. The aft beam is lashed to this fitting. We had decided to make bulwarks for our war room and it certainly felt safer but also practical as it would stop objects from rolling on board. And last and not least, we thought it looked very nice on our flush deck version of the TT38. We made the bulwarks out of oak, a rather hard and resistant type of wood and when varnished it also looked very beautiful. During the winter, we had made all the hatches, partly covered in epoxy cloth and painted in the lovely turquoise color. We had found a, a little plastic parrot floating in the sea and had named him Norwegian Blue. And Norwegian Blue quickly became our mascot. And we put him in the container in Norway and, and later when opening the container in Tahiti, he greeted us with a, a little chirp, or at least I heard the chirp. 
We had lots of small and big tasks that needed to be done. We mounted the motor bracket uh, and we lashed the rudders. We painted the bottom with anti-fouling. And slowly, Bada Bada was getting ready to be launched. Thank you for watching this video. I put out new videos every second Friday and Fridays in between I put out a short story of the building part. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe and hit the buttons and it's free. And if you want to support me, check out Patreon, PayPal or Coffee. And patrons get the videos earlier and they also get uh, some extra material. And beside that, I have started making mugs for each episode. Check them out and please start collecting. If you uh, have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And you will find all links in the description below. Massive thanks to everyone who supports this project. It makes a huge difference.